Welcome back. Today we're gonna do a little bit of work on the Mitsubishi. It's a Mitsubishi pin in a uh, 2 liter GDI. And uh, Groupie reported it's a bit lumpy and uh, it doesn't very well when it's cold. So I think we need to look after spark plugs. We just did an oil change. Um, these engines need regular oil change actually more frequently than the manual says because especially if you use it on short runs they have a habit of thinning the oil because of the GDI principle uh, yeah and then the engine gets loud and it doesn't sound healthy so you need to take the engine cover off which is this one here that's just just four screws in the top here and to get to the spark plugs you need to take that intake uh, manifold off which goes to the throttle body We'll have a look into the throttle body as well. Uh, if it's dirty, we clean it because when you stop it, it does a pop. I, my fear is actually that we suffer from the coking problem in the intake manifold or in the intakes. Uh, so the valves get a bit stuck sometimes. It's a common problem on these engines. Um, yeah, to get that off, uh, loosen the, loosen the hose, hose clips here. Take this, 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 there is one behind. Uh, and this screw out and then you should be able to lift it up. I need two hands so I'll do that in a minute. And the spark plugs are underneath these ignition coils here. Uh, it's always a good idea to clean them a little bit because uh, everything around the ignition should be, should be clean. I've never done it on this car so, but uh, yeah it looks seminar here. Anyway let's take that off. So here we go, got the intake, there's a hose going here. I think that's the crankcase brighter. And these are the four spark plugs uh, for each cylinder. 10 millimeter bolts, just loosen the bolts, pull the plug and pull the whole thing out. Uh, let's have a look into the throttle body here, how it looks like. It's not super dirty, but you could probably do with a bit of a clean. We'll see how it looks underneath. Anyway, let's pull the spark plugs. Easy, just... Uh, Take them all out, pull the plugs. It doesn't matter where they go, they're all the same. Uh, but as I said before, give them a little bit of a clean because the dirt is actually accumulating moisture and then you may have uh, poor spark or sparks to ground or something like that so it doesn't spark right very well. Uh, it's got 59,000 miles on the clock, almost 60,000. Uh, cam belt should be done soon as well. Uh, I need to order one, I don't have one and uh, it's a relatively easy job because there is enough room you can get there But it's gonna be done Okay, let's take those coils off and the uh, spark plugs out. Okay to get the plugs off There is a little tap on the side here. Just push that in and pull the plug out Here is a good example of uh, some weird corrosion. I don't know if it's visible, but it's very green inside uh, Get some light here uh, so that had poor contact and uh, there is probably maybe we have a coolant leak or it's just water I don't know what it is I don't know if it's visible there's some gunk down there it's, it's oily down there which is not nice uh, anyway yeah, so yeah, it's just give them a good wipe and we need to check that if there is a problem with that one. Uh, and never ever run the engine, whatever for checking something with this connected and no spark plug, you're gonna kill them. Um, they may most likely spark elsewhere and then they're dead and they're not cheap. So yeah, we need to check what that is what that problem is and uh, let's get the other one out and have a look at that one the other one the other two look good look here you can see the spring everything looks good but this one is green and dirty so that's that's a recipe for poor spark we need to check that that's number three i actually marked them to see where they came out so I can remember them and if I got a problem on some spark plug I put them just back with clean spark plugs and if prob the problem is persistent um, 
I know it's probably in the igniter. Anyway, let's check the other one and uh, see what we find. And with these engines where the spark plugs are so deep inside, I usually just use some air and blow the, the rubbish. Whatever is left down there, it's gonna end up in your cylinders. So you gotta be careful. Now we need to find a very slim socket. I think, I don't know what the size is. It's very slim actually. All right, let's take the spark plugs out. Okay, they're 16 millimeters. You need a spark plug socket. It's the one with the rubber inside. Otherwise, you're not gonna get the, the plugs pulled. So, just, it's very, uh, it's really tight here, with that one. All right, let's try the other one. So here we got it. Uh, yeah, it's 16 millimeter spark plugs or 16 millimeter socket. And as I said before, you need one with a rubber, otherwise you can't pull it. It doesn't look bad actually. It's some weirdo spark plug. I don't have this style of spark plugs. I've got plenty of spark plugs, but not those. Anyway, let's pull them all and have a look. So here you can, you can see the drama. That's number one, two, three, four. So number three has some significant corrosion here. And uh, the holes are down there are pretty oily. So we need to have a, a look if we can find some of these spark plugs. What's that? ISZFR 5B. I'm pretty sure I don't have any of those. It's a very old spark plug. Yeah. Uh, worst case, we're just gonna clean it and put it at the front. I put that one on the front. Uh, I don't have. I, I'll check it, but I don't think so. And I probably run down with a with a rack to get the oil out there. It's really oily down there. Perhaps we could do a compression test. I know it runs okay. I don't care. Because. <coughs> To clean the manifold, you need to take all these nuts and bolts out, take the manifold out, and then you can you can actually clean the intakes because they're most likely full of oil crud. Because it's a GDI engine, there is no there's no fuel coming through the intake; it's all directly injected, and that's causing some oil crust on the valve stems and on the intake. Uh, Mitsubishi got a jig with and they use some, I think they use walnuts basically to shot blast it with walnuts and uh, because they're soft if something goes into the engine it doesn't harm uh, yeah but I don't have that and uh, yeah, we'll see it's got to be a job for the summer at some time but it's got to be done because it's got 60,000 miles so it's probably pretty cokey inside all right, let's check if we can find some spark plugs. If not, we're gonna clean the old ones and put them back and check the distance for, of course. As usual, we got zillions of plugs, but uh, it's ISZFR5B. It's an NGK plug, which I don't have. I got some Bosch plugs, but I can't work out the number on those. They look the same, but. Uh, We'd rather clean those, put them in and order some new ones and check the, check the gap uh, and put them back. We put that, we cleaned that, so it's okay now, we just need to clean the gap as well. And uh, put that weird one in cylinder one, so we can actually swap it without taking the, the intake, that uh, plastic intake off, because it's, it's actually accessible here. Uh, the other ones look actually good. Yeah, we just need to check the spark, uh, the gap, to make sure that it's, it's all good, and then we just put them back together. I don't have any, and I can't get any at the moment. So, we'll order some, put them in when we got time. When you put the plugs back in, 
take the rubber out of the socket because it has a tendency to stick on the uh, on the plug and you can't get it out so we got a plug spike in uh, we also do that dodgy one we're gonna clean that and put that in front so that's uh, number three we put, we swap that with one so if we have to take it out we can take it out without taking the, the other thing apart uh, it's sticky it's almost like coolant I don't know so we just put everything back together in reverse we swap one and three and we clean that number one or number three a little bit it's clean now but I can't see inside I don't know I don't want to take that off because I don't know if there is a resistor inside uh, yeah just put it back in reverse there's no there's no rocket science on it uh, put it back put it back on I'll have a quick look at the throttle body and see if we can find the high pressure fuel filter I don't know where it is it's gonna be somewhere down there in the injector pump I need to figure out where it is because I have a new one and uh, I think that needs changing at some point anyway welcome back so we're done everything is back together uh, let's see if we can yeah battery is pretty low because I started a few times probably tension belt a little bit uh, needs replacement as well but it runs nice and smooth because it had a bit of a rough idle before so it's alright so let's uh, tension that belt a little bit just test that bolt and that bolt that should do it it's a uh, it's a noisy engine it doesn't rattle anymore the problem is uh, they start rattling if they all get thin that's one of the problems we have here and that's the reason why they need frequent oil change okay let's tension that uh, belt a little bit uh, it probably needs a new battery as well because it's uh, quite old it's always low right, uh. anyway that's it from this one I have an idea where the fuel filter is it's actually on the pump down there on the pump somewhere but I need to check which one it is and uh, if it's the one I think it's a, a hell of a nightmare because you need to take one of similar one of these retainers off and I don't know how to get there my fingers are just too fat to get there it's probably made for smaller people than me I don't know but uh, yeah it's always a bit of a nightmare in this car it's, it's no excess really anyway that's it from this one thanks for watching thanks for subscribing until next time